So we are going to do multiplying polynomials for those people who have been absent. So hopefully this will help you out at home if you are on with COVID or you're just absent or you're skipping or whatever, or if you need to go back at the end of the year. So the first thing we're going to talk about is multiplying polynomials. The first types of polynomials we're going to do is a monomial times a monomial, which is super easy. A monomial means a one term polynomial. So this would be like 3x multiplied by 6x squared. This is really just basic math using properties of exponents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the coefficients, which is 3 and 6. 3 and 6 are going to give me 18. I keep the variable and I figure out my exponents and I'm going to add them together. 1 plus 2 is going to give me 3. And that's my answer. Now I'm going to do a monomial times a binomial. That's going to be a one term like 2x multiplied by a binomial like x plus 3. Binomial means two terms. This is basically like the distributive property. 2x times x. So the coefficient is 1. 1 times 2 is going to give me 2. Keep the x and I figure out how many x's I'm going to have. 1 plus 1 is going to make a total of 2. Then I'm going to have to distribute this also to the second term. It's like the distributive property. 2x times 3. 2x times 3, I multiply the coefficients, which is 2 times 3, which make positive 6. And I only have 1x. This has no x. So that's my answer. Now I'm going to do a binomial multiplied by a binomial. A binomial times a binomial is like this, two terms multiplied by two terms. So we're going to actually do three of these because this is the main portion of the lesson. X plus three multiplied by 2x minus 5. A 2 by 2, so I'm going to make a 2 by 2 box. This is an, called an area model. It's kind of like a in science, like where they do the genes. Notice I put the plus sign with the 3, not in the middle, and the minus sign is down with the 5 because the 5 is now negative. And I'm going to multiply these to figure out what the inside of the box is going to make. 2x multiplied by x is going to give me 2x squared. Because it's really like 2 times 1, 2 times 1 is 2. I have a total of 2x's, so 1 exponent, 1 exponent is 2. 2x multiplied by 3 gives me 6x. Not 6x squared because there's only 1x. 1x multiplied by negative 5 gives me negative 5x. Negative 5 multiplied by 3 makes negative 15. So if I write this all out with the first term being the first box, 2x squared, 6x is positive, so plus 6x. 5x is negative, so minus 5x, minus 15 in the back. I want to combine these middle terms. They have like terms. So 2x squared has no friends. He's just chilling in the front, being the line leader. 6x is positive. I'm taking away 5x. 6 minus 5 is positive 1. So I'm just going to put plus x. 15 has no friends. He's chilling in the back of the line. It's in standard form. Largest exponent, the largest degree first. The b values in the middle. The constants in the back. Let's do another one of these. Example two. 6x minus 5 multiplied by negative 3. Why is that negative? Yeah, that's okay. Negative 3x plus 1. So this is a binomial times a binomial, so I'm going to make a 2 by 2 box.
So I'm going to multiply to fill in the box. Negative 3x multiplied by 6x is negative 18x squared. Negative 3x multiplied by negative 5 makes positive 15x. 6x times 1 is 6x. 1 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 5. The first term is always going to be the first box, negative 18 squared. The last term is always going to be the last box. What you're going to learn to do is you could write it all out like we did in the previous example. You could just combine these like terms as you go instead of writing it all out. This 15 is positive. This 6 is positive. They're going to add together to make 21x. Since it's positive, I'm going to put a plus sign in front of the 21. And that is your answer. Now we're going to do a binomial multiplied by a trinomial. So we're going to do one of these, and it's going to be 7x minus 2 multiplied by x squared minus 3x plus 4. Notice it's going to be a 2 by 3. So instead of making a 2 by 2 box, I'm going to make a 2 by 3 box. I'm going to put my binomial on the side and my trinomial along the top. Now I'm going to multiply to make the inside of the box. 7x multiplied by 1x squared is going to give me 7x cubed because now I have two x's up top and an x on the side, so I have a total of three x's. 7x multiplied by negative 3x is going to give me negative 21x squared. 7x times 4 is going to give me 28x. x squared multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 3x is positive 6x. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 4 is negative 8. So now you have two sets of diagonals. Before we combined our diagonals because they had like terms, if you look now, these both have x squared. Those will be combined together. And then if you look here, these both have like terms as well. These both have singular x's. So we'll combine those too. So I'm going to start with my first term. My first term is going to stay the same, 7x cubed. I'm going to combine these using addition. I have negative 2 plus negative 21. That's going to make negative 23x squared. I'm going to add these together. 6, it's positive, Good plus 28. For those of you attending our CRT training, it will be in this Barbara. 34x. The last term is exactly the same. It has no friends, so minus 8. And that is your answer. So hopefully this helps you. Okay, bye. Hello. Hello.